Thank you, Lord Jesus. Good morning. This is Lashana Janine Hearn, A Year in the Bible, a daily Bible reading, where we are getting through the Bible in one entire year. So good morning. We are in Numbers chapter 7 today. Good morning. And then we'll read Mark 7 verses 1 through 30. I got my coffee this morning, y'all. I had to have my coffee this morning. Good morning. <laughs> okay. Y'all should be experiencing a, a shifting in your in your spiritual, in your body. A shifting in the atmosphere. Um, we're approaching 2020 really fast, and um, uh, there should be there should be some changes going on um, right now in your life, in your body, in your mind as we continue to stay in the Word every single day. So thank you for joining. Thank you for coming on. Share and invite someone in your circle that could use a daily dosage of God in their life every day. <laughs> I know I have to have God in my life every day. All right, so let's pray. Heavenly Father, Jehovah God, we just glorify you and thank you for your son, Jesus. We thank you. We come in his name and just glorify you for everything that you are doing. And you got us excited, Lord Jesus. You got us excited for things to come. We're not worried about tomorrow. Because we know that you are there already. We know that you are in our tomorrow. We know that you are setting things up. We know that you are, uh, you have all the solutions to every problem. And we just thank you because we have that confidence in you, Lord God, to trust in you and depend on you and lean on you. And know that we know that we know that everything is all right and going to be all right. No matter what our circumstances look like, no matter what our situations look like, we can depend and trust in you, and we thank you for that. We thank you for your protection and your provision, and we just glorify you. And I just pray that you continue to heal, heal and go into the hospitals, go into the homes, any anyone that has any ailments that are going on, anyone that has any sickness going on in their bodies, in their minds, their souls, I just pray and ask that you continue to pour your healing hands and heal, bring back their youth, give them the energy, give them the strength to continue to fight on and stay in this. And I just glorify you and I thank you, Lord God. And I pray this in the presence of Jehovah and the Spirit of Jesus, Yahweh. In Jesus' holy name, amen. 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 So this is a year in the Bible, a daily Bible reading, where we are getting through the Bible in one entire year. We are in Numbers chapter 7. And then we'll read Mark 7, verses 1 through 30. So Numbers 7, Ooh. my pages are stuck together. Okay, Numbers, Numbers chapter 7.
All right, and it came to pass on the day that Moses had fully set up the tabernacle and had anointed it and sanctified it and all the instruments thereof, both the altar and all the vessels thereof, and had anointed them and sanctified them. That the prince of Israel, heads of the house of their fathers, who were the princes, prince of of the tribes and were over them that were numbered offered and they brought their offering before the Lord six covered wagons and twelve oxen a wagon for two of the prince and for each one an ox and they brought them before the tabernacle and the Lord spake unto Moses saying take it of them that they may be to do the service of the tabernacle of the congregation. And thou shalt give them unto the Levites, to every man according to his service. And Moses took the wagons and the oxen and gave them unto the Levites. Two wagons and four oxen he gave unto the sons of Gershon, according to their service. And four wagons and eight oxen he gave unto the sons of Mari, according unto their service, under the hand of Ithmar, the son of Aaron, the priest. But unto the sons of Kohath he gave none, because the service of the sanctuary belonging unto them was that they should bear upon their shoulders. And the prince offered for dedicating of the altar in the day that it was anointed, even the prince offered their offering before the altar. And the Lord said unto Moses, They shall offer their offering, each prince, on his day for the dedicating of the altar. And he that offered his offering the first day was Nashon, the son of Aminadab, of the tribe of Judah. And his offering was one silver charger, the weight thereof was an hundred and thirty shekels, one silver bowl of seventy shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary. Both of them were full of fine flour mingled with oil for a meat offering. One spoon of ten shekels of gold full of incense. One young bullock, one ram, one lamb of the first year for a burnt offering one kid of the goats for a sin offering, and for a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five he goats, five lambs of the first year. This was the offering of Nushan, the son of Aminadab. On the second day, Nethaniel, the son of Zuar, prince of Iskar, did offer. He offered for his offering one silver charger. The weight thereof whereof was a hundred and thirty shekels, one silver bowl of seventy shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mingled with oil for a meat offering, one spoon of gold of ten shekels full of incense, one young bullock one ram, one lamb of the first year for a burnt offering, one kid of the goats for a sin offering, and for a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five he goats, five lambs of the first year. This was the offering of Nathaniel, the son of Zuar. On the third day, Eliab, the son of Helon, prince of the children of Zebulun, did offer. His offering was one silver charger, the weight whereof was an hundred and thirty shekels, one silver bowl of seventy shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mingled with oil for a meat offering, one golden spoon of ten shekels full of incense, one young bullock, one ram, one lamb of the first year for a burnt offering, one kid of the goats for a sin offering, and for a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five he goats, five lambs of the first year. 
This was the offering of Eliab, the son of Halon. On the fourth day, Elizor, Zor, the son of Shadur, prince of the children of Reuben, did offer. His offering was one silver charger of the weight of 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour, mingled with oil for a meat offering, one golden spoon of 10 shekels, full of incense, one young bullock, one ram, one lamb of the first year for a burnt offering, one kid of the goats for a sin offering, and for a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five he goats, five lambs of the first year. This was the offering of Elizur, the son of Shadur. On the fifth day, Shilum, Shilumil, the son of Zuri Shaddai, prince of the children of, the, of Simon, did offer. His offering was one silver charger, the weight whereof was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels after the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour, mingled with oil for a meat offering, one golden spoon of 10 shekels full of incense, one young bullock, one ram, one lamb of the first year for a burnt offering, one kid of the goats for a sin offering, and for a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five he goats, five lambs of the first year. This was the offering of Shalumil, the son of Zerushaddai. On the sixth day, El Eliasaph, on the sixth day, Eliasaph, the son of du du Duel, prince of the children of Gad, offered his offering. His offering was one silver charger of the weight of 130 shekels, a silver bowl of 70 shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary both of them full of fine flour mingled with oil for a meat offering, one golden spoon of 10 shekels full of incense, one young bullock, one ram, one lamb of the first year for a burnt offering, one kid of the goats for a sin offering and for a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five he goats, five lambs of the first year. This was the offering of Eliasaph and the son of du Duel. These names. One day I'm going to go back and see if there's a meaning to each name. <laughs> On the seventh day, Elishma, the son of Amihud, prince of the children of Ephraim, offered. His offering was one silver charger, the weight there whereof was 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour, mingled with oil for a meat offering, one golden spoon of 10 shekels, full of incense, one young bullock, one ram, one lamb of the first year for a burnt offering, excuse me one kid of the goats for a sin offering, and for a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five he goats, five lambs of the first year. This was the offering of Elishama, the son of Amilhud. On the eighth day offered Gamaliel, the son of Padu, Padazor, prince of the children of Manasseh. His offering was one silver charger of the weight of 130 shekels, one silver bowl of 70 shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour, mingled with oil for a meat offering, one golden spoon of 10 shekels, full of incense, one young bullock, one ram, one lamb of the first year 
for a burnt offering. One kid of the goats for a sin offering and for a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five he goats, five lambs of the first year. This was the offering of Gamilia, Gamilia the son of Padazor. <laughs> On the ninth day, Abidan, the son of Gideoni, Gideoni, prince of the children of Benjamin, offered his offering was one silver charger, the weight there whereof was an hundred and thirty shekels, one silver bowl of seventy shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mingled with oil for a meat offering, one golden spoon of ten shekels full of incense. One young bullock, one ram, one lamb of the first year for a burnt offering, one kid of the goats for a sin offering, and for a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five he goats, five lambs of the first year. This was the offering of Abidon, the son of Gideon, Gideoni. One day I will get the names right. On the tenth day, ah, Ahizar, the son of Amishadai, prince of the children of Dan, offered. His offering was one silver charger, the weight whereof was an hundred and thirty shekels, one silver bowl of seventy shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mingled with oil, for a meat offering, one golden spoon of ten shekels full of incense, one young bullock, one ram, one lamb of the first year for a burnt offering, excuse me, one kid of the goats for a sin offering and for a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five he goats, five lambs of the first year. This was the offering of ah ah Ahizar. Ahizer, the son of Amishadai. On the eleventh day, Pagel, Pagel, the son of Akron, prince of the children of Asher, offered. His offering was one silver charger, the weight whereof was an hundred and thirty shekels, one silver bowl of seventy shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour mingled with oil for a meat offering one golden spoon of ten shekels full of incense one young bullock one ram one lamb of the first year for a burnt offering one kid of the goats for a sin offering and for a sacrifice of peace offerings two oxen five rams five he goats five lambs of the first year this was the offering of Pagel, the son of Akron. I really hope I'm saying these names right. Because I know how I feel when people say my name wrong. <laughs> On the twelfth day, Ahira, the son of Enan, prince of the children of Naphtali, offered. His offering was one silver charger, the weight whereof was an hundred and thirty shekels, one silver bowl of seventy shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary, both of them full of fine flour, mingled with oil for a meat offering, one golden spoon of ten shekels, full of incense, one young bullock, one ram, one lamb of the first year, for a burnt offering, one kid of the goats, for a sin offering, and for a sacrifice of peace offerings, two oxen, five rams, five he goats, five lambs of the first year. This was the offering of Ahira, the son of Enan. This was the dedication of the altar in the day when it was anointed by the prince of Israel, 12 chargers of silver, 12 silver bowls, 12 spoons of gold. Each charger of silver 
weighing 130 shekels. Each bowl, 70. All the silver vessels weighed 2,400 shekels after the shekel of the sanctuary. The golden spoons were 12, full of incense, weighing 10 shekels apiece after the shekel of the sanctuary. All the gold of the spoons was 120 shekels. All the oxen for the burnt offering were 12 bullocks, the rams 12, the lambs of the first year 12, with their meat offering, and the kids of the goats for sin offering 12. And all the oxen for the sacrifice of the peace offerings were 20 and 4 bullocks, the rams 60, the he goats 60, the lambs of the first year 60. This was the dedication of the altar after that it was anointed. And when Moses was gone into the tabernacle of the congregation to speak with him, then he heard the voice of one speaking unto him from off the mercy seat that was upon the ark of testimony, from between the two cherubims, and he spake unto him. So good morning. This is a year in the Bible, a daily Bible reading, where we are getting through the entire Bible in one year. And so we just read Numbers 7, and now we'll move on to Mark 7, verses 1 through 30. Take me a sip of coffee. All right, Mark 7. Then came together unto him the Pharisees and certain of the scribes, which came from Jerusalem. And when they saw some of his disciples eat bread with defiled, that is to say, with unwashing hands, they found fault. For the Pharisees and all the Jews, except they wash their hands oft, eat not, holding the tradition of the elders. And when they came from the market, except they wash, they eat not, and many other things there be, which they have received to hold as the washing of cups and pots, brazen vessels, and of tables. Then the Pharisees and scribes asked him, Why walk not thy disciples according to the tradition of the elders, but eat bread with unwashen hands? He answered and said unto them, Well, hath Esaias prophesied of you hypocrites, as it is written, this people honoreth me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. Howbeit in vain do they worship me, teaching for their doctrines the commandments of men. For laying aside the commandment of God, ye hold the tradition of men as the washing of pots and cups, and many other such like things ye do. And he said unto them, Full well ye reject the commandment of God, that ye may keep your own tradition. For Moses said, Honor thy father and thy mother, and whoso curses father or mother, let him die the death. But ye say, If a man shall say to his father or mother, It is Corban, that is to say, a gift, but whatsoever thou mightest be profited by me, he shall be free. And ye suffer him no more to do aught for his father or his mother. Making the word of God of none effect through your tradition, which ye have delivered, and many such like things do ye. And when he had called all the people unto him, he said unto them, Hearken unto me, every one of you, and understand. There is nothing from without a man that entering into him can defile him, but the things which come out of him, 
Those are they that defile the man. If any man have ears to hear, let him hear. And when he was entered into the house from the people, his disciples asked him concerning the parable. And he saith unto them, Are ye so without understanding also? Do ye not perceive that whatsoever thing from without entereth into the man, it cannot defile him? Because it entereth not into his heart, but into the belly, and goeth out into the draught, purging all meats. And he said, That which cometh out of the, out of the man that defileth the man. For from within, out of the heart of man proceed evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness, deceit, lasciviousness, evil eye, blasphemy, pride, foolishness. All these things come from within and defile um, the man. And from thence he arose and went into the borders of Tyre and Sidon and entered into an house and would have no man know it, but he could not be hid. For a certain woman whose young daughter had an unclean spirit, heard of him, and came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, a, okay, a Syrophoenician by nation, and she besought him that he would cast forth the devil out of her daughter. But Jesus said unto her, Let the children first be filled, for it is not meat to take the children's bread and to cast it unto the dogs. And she answered and said unto him, Yes, Lord, yet the dogs under the table eat of the children's crumbs. And he said unto her, For this saying, go thy way, the devil is gone out of thy daughter. And when she was come to her house, she found the devil gone out, and her daughter laid upon the bed. Amen. Amen, amen. So this is a year in the Bible, a daily Bible reading, where we are getting through the entire Bible in one year. We just read Numbers 7, and then Mark 7, verses 1 through 30. I fell in love with the way Jesus talks long time ago. His parables, um, the way he came across um, um, to the Pharisees and, and the scribes and, and, and the way he uh, presented himself um, to them. And after reading the word, once you read the word, especially going through it in an entire year, and then you read it again and again. You truly begin to develop the mind of Christ. And you actually begin to talk like him. And, and walk like him. And see like him. And so, sometimes um, you come across um, certain ways that you begin to respond um, to certain situations and circumstances. And so... It's, it's amazing how you end up taking on, because you already have the characteristics of the Father. You have the characteristics of God. There's a lot of things about you that you realize that you are like him as you read the word every single day. But you begin to talk like Jesus and walk like him, and you begin to notice that your, your countenance and everything about you began to start to change. And that's that's what should be happening um, to you right now. And so expect as you continue to stay in the word and continue to develop your prayer life with the Lord God, expect that you're not going to be the same. And if people begin to notice it, 
Some will reject it. Some will embrace it. And those that reject the change, don't worry about their rejection. Don't worry about um, if, if you're doing something wrong or, you know, things like that. Don't let the enemy come in and make you feel like, oh, well, you're changing. So that must mean you're either fake or whatever. No. The more you read the word, the more you develop your prayer life, the more you develop the relationship that you have with God, your characteristics and everything about you. He already said the moment that you accepted him, you become a new creature. So you, you, you'll begin to look different. You'll begin to act different. You'll begin to speak different. You'll even begin to hear different. And so don't let those things, don't, don't develop fear or worry about any of the changes that are going on on the inside of you as you stay in the word every single day. Because He's molding you, he's building you, and he's preparing you to wear the type of armor, God's armor, that you will need in 2020. Because you 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 can't you you will not be able to stay the same that you are now walking into 2020. So expect the changes, recognize it, notice it, and know that you are a child of God and that you are developing and it's amazing. It's amazing and it's awesome. So go back, spend some more time with the Lord, go back, study the word, even look up some of the names and see what the meanings are, <laughs> you know, and, and just spend some more time with the Lord and spend some more time with God and, and let him show you who you are in him, in Christ Jesus. Walk in his purpose, not yours. Walk in his purpose and his will for your life. And uh, and just know that I love you. And y'all have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, blessed day on purpose. And I will see you 530 in the morning. <laughs>